Should you buy the flagship Samsung Galaxy S23 and spend a lot of money on it, or should you save some money and get the now improved mid-range offering, the Galaxy A54 5G? With a starting price of around $500, the Galaxy A54 5G is nearly 40% cheaper than the flagship, yet it has similar looks, a similarly brilliant AMOLED display, same charging speeds and it even takes micro SD cards that the flagship Galaxy S23 does not and has longer battery life. However, of course, it's more compromised. The screen does not get as bright, it lacks adaptive refresh rate, its cameras are not quite as good, there is no zoom camera at all, and the processor even if improved is a far cry from the amazing Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Ah, tough choice. Let's see if we can help you find the better phone for you among these two. So hey everyone, I am Ayush and if you are new here don't be shy, do subscribe now. Okay, when it comes to design and display quality, both the Galaxy A54 5G and the Galaxy S23 have their own unique features to offer. The A54 5G has taken inspiration from the flagship S23 with its camera styling, resulting in a clean and attractive appearance for both devices. Samsung has stepped up the quality of the A54 5G by using a glass back instead of plastic, but the S23 takes it a step further with its Gorilla Glass Victus 2. In terms of size, the S23 is the more compact phone, while the F54 5G is not excessively large either. Both phones have water and dust protection, with the S23 having a higher rating of IP68 compared to IP67 on the A54 5G. Although it may not matter to everyone, the S23's higher rating means it can withstand immersion in deeper water. Both phones have water and dust protection, with the S23 having a higher rating of IP68 compared to IP67 on the A54 5G. Although it may not matter to everyone, the S23's higher rating means it can withstand immersion in deeper water. Both phones have flat screens, but the F54 5G has larger borders around the screen, while the S23 looks more refined with its thinner bezel size. The A54 5G boasts a 6.4-inch OLED screen with 1080p Full HD Plus resolution, while the S23 comes with a smaller 6.1 Dynamic AMOLED 2X display with the same resolution. Both screens are of high quality, but the S23's display is better suited for outdoor use with a brighter display and adaptive refresh rate, which adjusts to the content being displayed. Additionally, color calibration is better on the flagship model compared to the A54 5G. Both phones feature an in-screen fingerprint scanner for biometrics, with the A54 5G using a cheaper optical fingerprint reader and the S23 using an ultrasonic one. While both are expected to be similarly fast and reliable, the S23's ultrasonic scanner has the added advantage of not blinding you at night. Finally, both phones support image-based face recognition. Moving on to performance and software, the Galaxy A54 5G and the Galaxy S23 offer some notable differences. The A54 5G features Samsung's newer Exynos 1380 system chip, which offers a significant improvement in multi-core CPU performance and graphics compared to the previous generation. However, it still falls short of the exceptional Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor found in the flagship S23. In terms of gaming or other intensive tasks, the Galaxy S23's speed advantage will be appreciated by those who value performance. Nevertheless, the A54 5G is a noticeable improvement over previous A-series phones, which sometimes experienced stuttering issues. We will provide a more detailed analysis of the Exynos 1380 chip and how it compares to the Snapdragon processor in the S23 in a few weeks' time. On the software side, we are pleased to see that Samsung is now offering the same 4-year major OS update support for both the A-series and the S-series, which is great news for customers. However, it's worth noting that the A54 5G may receive these updates a bit later than its S-series counterpart. Continuing with the camera section, it's worth noting that the Galaxy A-series has never quite matched the camera quality of the Pixel A family. However, we're pleased to see that the A54 5G marks a bigger jump in camera quality than usual for Samsung. The A54 5G does away with the unnecessary depth sensor found in previous generations, leaving you with three cameras. However, the 5MP macro camera will have limited use, 
meaning you'll mainly rely on the 50MP main shooter and the 8MP ultrawide camera. On the other hand, the Galaxy S23 boasts a more advanced 50MP main camera sensor, a higher resolution 12MP ultrawide shooter, and a useful 12MP 3x zoom camera. It's clear that the flagship S23 will outperform the A54 5G when it comes to zooming. For a more detailed analysis of the differences in low-light image quality with the main camera, video quality, and more, stay tuned to this section in a couple of weeks' time. Similar to the A54 5G's camera, there is limited information about whether there will be any improvement in the audio quality or haptics of the device compared to the previous generation. The A series has historically struggled in these areas. However, the Galaxy S23 is expected to have better audio quality and more refined haptics than its predecessors, which is a significant step up for Samsung's flagship devices. As with the camera analysis, we will provide a detailed review of the audio quality and haptics of both devices once we have conducted real-world testing. Similarly, the Galaxy A54 5G comes with a larger battery capacity compared to the Galaxy S23. The A54 5G houses a 5,100 mAh battery, which is significantly larger than the 3,900 mAh battery on the S23. However, there is no information on how the battery performs in real-world usage, and three different tests will be conducted to determine the battery life. Both devices support the same 25W charging speed, and the absence of any meaningful advantage in charging can be observed. Nevertheless, the S23 does have an additional wireless charging feature that is absent in the A54 5G. Stay tuned for the detailed analysis on battery life and charging performance in the upcoming weeks. The Samsung Galaxy A54 5G represents a significant improvement over previous A-series phones, but it faces stiff competition from its more expensive sibling, the Galaxy S23. We still recommend the Galaxy S23 for its exceptional Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and advanced camera system, especially if you can find a good deal on it. However, if you prioritize battery life or are looking for a more budget-friendly option, the Galaxy A54 5G is a strong contender. With its larger battery and improved camera, it's a solid choice for those who want a phone that works well without breaking the bank. Ultimately, the choice between these two phones will depend on your specific needs and preferences, but both offer compelling features that make them worth considering. So which one would you go for, do let us know in the comment section, hope you liked and subscribed to this channel. If you want to know more about these phones, check out other videos from this channel. I will see you in next one.